Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's plugin coding tutorial video. Today we're going to be adding a boss bar to our plugin, which we started 16, 17 episodes ago, whatever we're on right now. Um, for this video, we're going to be using boss bar API, which is this very nice API, um, which is on Spigot. It supports 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, and I know some people down here have um, updated it for 1. like 12 and all those, so they've, they've done that for you. Um, which is very nice. Uh, so in this case, we're going to use Maven. It, you can't see it here, but we're just going to click it and it's going to open up to this page here. And this is going to tell us where we need to place it into our project. So we're going to go to our palm.xml here. We're going to go down to where it says repositories down here. We're just going to make a new space right here. That's all you have to do. And you're going to go ahead and copy in this repository. Just like that. Oops. And then you're going to do the same thing you did with that with your dependency. So you're going to just copy your dependency over. And now you have boss bar API set up inside your plugin. So why don't we take a little bit of a look on how to use this inside your plugin. So in our case is we're going to create a new event over here where we're going to say when a player joins the server, we're going to send them a boss bar. So we're going to do boss bar join event or some class like that. I don't, I don't know what you want to do. We're going to implement listener because we are going to be using um, a join event. So we're going to implement listener. Then it's going to be, we're going to use our event handler just like we normally do. We're going to set up our public void on boss bar join or something like that. It's going to be a player join event. So this is all the same as we normally do, but this is where everything's going to start changing. So first we're going to get our player by e, uh, player p equals e dot get player same thing we normally do this is all the same but then this is where everything's going to change because we're using a new api we're going to have different methods that we're going to have to do so on that page we're going to do our default message we're just going to create a random boss bar that says hello player or something like that so first we're going to get the boss bar class which is called boss bar just like that boss bar which is the default bucket to be clear then we're going to do boss bar like this it's going to equal the boss bar api which is going to be the org dot and then dot add bar this is where the difference then we're going to put our player which is p then we're going to put this little um comma here and then we're going to do new text component inside this we're going to put what we're going to say we're going to say hi or we're going to say hello player p dot get name so we're going to say hi player dot get name with an exclamation point pretty easy right another comma this is where you're going to put the color in our case we're going to do boss bar api dot blue or dot color dot blue we'll do blue in this case comma we're going to do boss bar api again this is where we're going to get the style. So dot style dot, you can do knock 6, 10, 20, progress. In this case, we're going to do knock 20, which is all the way full. Comma again. This is going to be the progress. Where is it on the bar? 0 to 1. And make sure to put the F at the end. So if you set this to like 0, the bar isn't going to be full at all. Then you're going to set the timeout and your refresh or your timeout interval. In this case, we aren't going to be changing our boss bar at all, so we're just going to set this to zero. Our timeout and interval to zero. Then, just like you normally do there, put a bracket, uh, semicolon at the end. Um, I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little differently than I normally am. It's I've had a long day. I have school. I start school in the day. This is a video for three weeks after I start school, so I'm a little tired. I've been recording all day today. I'm sorry for that. Now. What we're going to do is we are up to go ahead and enable our event by going to our main class, registering our event called, you guessed it, boss bar join event. Yay. Now, we aren't going to be exporting this. Let me show you. We're not going to be putting in the um, lib into our own export like we normally do reason for this is it's going to start on its own. Make sure to change your project version to make sure we've updated it. I'm going to make it 0.14. I'm going to build the project, but 
on our server, which is where our test server is here, we're going to download that boss bar API we used in the spigot jar. So on that spigot page, you're going to download it and drag it in here. It's like this. Put it in here. Then we're going to put our tutorial, our, um, our plugin, which I'm going to grab from here, into here and start our server. And we're going to join and we're going to see if our boss bar appears. I'll make this full screen for you. There it is, right at the top. Hello, Noodles YT. So, exactly what we wanted to do. Now, let me ask you something. What if you wanted to change the color of um, the name? Well, open up your IntelliJ here and just change it. Just do what you normally do. Add chat colors. Chat color dot. We'll make that red. And say hello. Just import chat color, just like you normally do. Work that bucket. And then for your name, we'll do chat color dog green, just like that. Then we'll do plus chat color dot red, so it goes back to the explanation point, just like that. So now, if we go ahead and rebuild our project and drag it back into our plugins folder. I'm going to go ahead and read connect and see our colors king. Yay. So it does support all colors. It um, does everything we want it to do. Um, it doesn't, the only time it would go away is if you look straight down because technically there's an invisible wither. Ooh, invisible wither right in front of you at all times. So pretty much what that's doing is it's creating this boss. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's creating this boss bar in front of you. Now you may be wondering, I set the color to blue in the configure file for this bottom bar. Why is it not blue? I have an answer for you. It's not 1.9. If this was 1.9, the bottom bar here would be blue and the lines would be cut up. But sadly, because this isn't 1.9 and we're on a 1.8 server, 1.8 only has one color and one type of bar. Sad, right? I wish combat was 1.8 in every version and we would never have this problem. Mojang. Okay. Um, make sure when you are done with your changes and making your boss bars to commit your changes and open them up and I'll say added boss bars and push them to GitHub, commit and push them to GitHub for you to remember. Now, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is a lot of you were checking out our newest Fate UHC update, adding boss bars and action bars to your plugin. Well, guess what? This is your lucky day because you get a boss bar tutorial today and the next video will be an action bar video. So you got this video coming out today. The next plugin tutorial video coming out in a few days will be an action bar, which is what you put right above your username, your uh, little inventory down here. So that video will be coming out later this week. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. If you have any questions on how to use this or how to set this up, join our Discord server. We'll be happy to help you. In the next few videos, the first thing we're doing is action bars. The second thing is we're going to redo this scoreboard. Um, I don't like it anymore. I want to make it neater. I want to make the code easier. I want to use the API a little more. So that will be coming up in the next few videos. Um, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And if you have questions on how to code your plugins, we um, are pretty good at answering those questions. We have over 40 plus plugins. And you can leave your question down in the comments or you can leave it on Discord and we'll be happy to help you out as much as we can. Thank you so much for watching today's video, everybody. My name is Noodles. I will see you tomorrow for another plugin tutorial video. And I will see you the next day, most likely, for a plugin coding tutorial video. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. And now you can see the inside of my head.